Good morning, Troy Bridges here with another update on what you can expect in the coming days here locally and also in the tropics as we pinpoint this one area of low pressure with a 20% chance of development. Eventually moving to the Yucatan Peninsula, it may not organize at all. We'll watch it. There's another little low that the Hurricane Center was watching. Now they're giving it a zero chance of development in the open Atlantic, really north now of Puerto Rico. We're also watching Hurricane Lorenzo moving away from the U.S. altogether. Together. It is impacting, of course, the Azores today as a hurricane, but not impacting us. Now, back close to home, the fire danger where you're seeing the yellow shading, that's the moderate risk. That is for all of Central Florida except for Osceola County, and we'll continue to see that likely for the next few days as rain chances stay low. A 30% coverage of rain today and a high of 90 degrees. 82 will be the temperature at 6 p.m. Then for tonight, 80 will be the temperature at 8 o'clock with a 10% chance for a couple of showers. There's the clouds and rain forecast showing a few on and off showers through the day. That coverage not widespread, but we'll see a few more on and off from the coast moving inland, holding together, but most of them not. Highs today near 90 in Orlando, upper 80s along the coast. Now here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Rain chances between 20 and 30% every day. Have a great day and be prepared for at least some quick moving showers.